I've been with Vertica for about five plus years, father of teen twins. I always have to give the plug of my, my children. Uh, I started in journalism, the Boston Globe. How did I end up in high tech? I'll touch on that a little bit. Um, started in the database world 20 years ago at Sybase, and when I met the GM of Vertica about six years ago, I said, isn't the database war over? Didn't Oracle win everything? I see the Oracle booth over there, right? Um, Oracle was crushing Sybase at the time with the OLTP, um, and they're still the leader. But uh, this data warehousing thing was just taken off around 20 years ago. Right? And uh, I'm an IoT enthusiast, so um, as you mentioned, I work for a company called Exceda, which is now part of PTC ThingWorks. If anyone knows ThingWorks uh, at PTC, they made a large investment around IoT. The team and, uh, and I just came back from IoT World last week too, so it'll be interesting to see if anyone's uh, go to any of those IoT shows. Typically as a software, um, work for a software company, I stay away from the IoT shows if it has IoT in the name, because uh, you get a lot of tire kickers, but they've come a long way. And um, my former CTO at Exceda said, IoT is an industry of industries, and I think he nailed it. So, you know, I speak to my boss, he says, you know, why aren't we doubling revenue in IoT? I said, like, well, what do you mean by that? Are you talking about um, fleet management uh, applications that will be an embedded database? Are you talking about smart metering? And there's so many use cases that abound, but the reason why I came to Vertica is because I saw the missing pieces in analytical database. A lot of Will, what Will will say, Will said, I will uh, pile on. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about um, uh, Vertica, this advanced analytics platform uh, with the combination of machine learning, right? So I got every buzzword in the title, so hopefully I captured all you guys. IoT analytics, machine learning, right? Every company out there, I see a lot of Hadoop vendors, and I'm going to just talk about MapR, they've reinvented themselves as machine learning companies, right? Everyone wants to ride that wave. We're going to show you our approach, and it, it is a unique approach. So um, we'll refer to Vertica as a column store, which is absolutely accurate. Uh, that's how it was founded with Dr. Michael Stonebreaker. Um, he brought a lot of databases to market. Everyone knows Ingress. Uh, a lot of companies out there like Tamer now and VoltDB, uh, SciDB was behind Informix, uh, Turing Award winner. Uh, but the reason why I came up with Vertica almost 11 years ago was that uh, there was a new approach that was needed for data warehousing. So enterprise data warehouse modernization, if you use an Oracle or Teradata, one of those really great uh, data warehouses and, and um, impressive uh, databases uh, the column store advanced analytical database came about and we take a lot of workloads that come from enterprise data warehouses, particularly around IoT and sensor data analytics, and often we'll run uh, alongside with some of those data warehouses. Uh, we're also uh, on, the, on every cloud, so you see all the rage now with data warehouses as a service. And then in open source environments where I'd say companies born in the last 10 years, they're taking open source and specifically NoSQL databases and they run into a wall, a concurrency issue, a scale issue. Uh, and they'll bring us in. We've got a lot of customers, Uber, Facebook, Twitter, um, huge banks, telecommunications companies. We're OEM'd by Palantir and Good Data um, um, and Domo and a lot of companies. So if there's an issue with um, concurrency, scale, performance, and you need it in a variety of ways, Vertica is an incredible analytical database for that and we give you any deployment option that you need. So a little bit behind the engine, I know we're at the DBTA show and Will went pretty deep in some areas. Um, What's underneath the hood? So if you look at Vertica and hopefully everyone gives it a shot and, and evaluates it, well, there's a the speed because it is a column store database, it's got compression at the core. You can scale from terabytes to petabytes and that's not just marketing language. We have many, many customers with petabytes of data, but you don't need to have petabytes of data. It just scales linearly. Two weeks ago, we launched Vertica 9.1. We separated the architecture, compute from storage. We're now running on AWS in Eon mode. Again, it's all part of one product. So you can handle those dynamic workloads where you don't have to provision your hardware and on-premise environment anymore for worst case scenario. You can, um, you know, at certain times of the month, if you're in retail and you want to handle, you need a lot of compute for a short period of time, or maybe you have a lot of data that you want to analyze for a short period of time, you can do that. It's very flexible and it's also available in a consumption-based model uh, subscription, subscription-based. Um, a lot of analytics, it's an analytical database. So I get a lot of questions around, do you compete with SVSS and SAS? No, we don't. Um, we have a lot of analytical functions that were built to run at the core, closer to the data, and that was Dr. Stein, Stonebreaker's uh, idea, um, particularly around time series. So what was interesting last week was we saw at least four time series databases that have come about. Some of them are based, have roots in financial services and see, oh, there's a sensor data, time series is coming in at uh, inter intermittent um, uh, times. 
um, and this could be a real good fit for this. We've had that for some time, and I'm going to share some use cases. IIoT and also IoT, we've got some consumer um, use cases as well, where they're using Verica for that. And then um, I want to dive into in database machine learning. I know I have a short period of time, but hopefully you'll be able to understand at the end of the day. Vertica's approach is a little bit different to machine learning is that it's all in database and it can run at scale. Okay, so why is Vertica purpose built for IoT data? So you heard Will talk about streaming data, right? Um, data comes in streams off a lot of these different devices. Uh, we use Kafka for that, so very, very popular. This technology out of anything out of the Hadoop ecosystem was the biggest boon for us. We've got one of the largest telecommunications companies in the world. Initially, when we replaced Teradata, they had an SLA of eight hours, eight hours to one hour, to capture the data, do some sort of transformation, run it within Vertica, um, queries very fast, and have a visualization for their end users. Now they said, great, you guys won the deal. A couple of years ago, they said, you need to go down to a minute, the whole entire process. They said, okay, we've got a lot of different ways to get the data into Vertica. Uh, most popular one is the copy command. He said, you should look into Kafka. So we did, uh, micro batch processing, um, micro batch loading, I should say, um, very, very fast way in near real time to get Vertica, get data into Vertica um, to run the analytics much faster as well. So Kafka is a big one. Uh, time series analytics, as I mentioned, gap filling, interpolation, all types of analytical functions. We've had them for years, uh, built right into the database. We manage semi-structured data very well, so JSON data particularly. Uh, we've got an innovative technology called flex tables where you don't have to define the schema. It's schema on need, schema on read, I'm sure. Any of you have heard of that? Uh, geospatial analytics, again, Uber is one of our largest customers. Um, they don't use this for an IoT analytical use case, but they use this for a use case where um, they want to understand um, uh, how to price. So, for example, um, certain regions of the world, how much can you charge for, say, something like a rickshaw when it's raining at certain times of the day? All of that data is being crunched by Vertica. Um, they have three or 4,000 users pounding on Vertica to feed all their pricing models uh, within Uber. And then we integrate with all the open source solutions, but we don't just pick anyone, whatever the latest uh, you know, uh, acronym or technology du jour from the Apache community. We will look at our customers and say, how is this gonna fit within um, our data architecture? We're the analytical database, we don't sell ETL tools, BI tools or anything like that. We complement them very well. So what about in database machine learning? Why do we take this approach with Vertica? How will we evolve it? Well, as you mentioned, as I mentioned, Vertica has scale handled very well. It's a massively parallel processing system. And by separating the compute and storage, we can, we can scale even more linearly. Uh, you don't have to rebalance the nodes and things like that. Um, but what we're doing, particularly around machine learning, is around prediction, so predictive analytics. Vertica has always provided data to um, organizations to feed their models written in something else, R and Python, and we still do that. But the, you know, we looked at it and we said, well, why are we taking data from the database and moving it out? Why don't we do everything within database? So companies like Revolution uh, Analytics is part of Microsoft, just to give you some ideas, some of the approaches that we took. We took a similar approach, except it's completely open. Okay, so combining scale and prediction, I'm gonna jump into it now. So one of the things, when everyone thinks about in database machine learning, they think about the IoT, uh, sorry, the machine learning algorithms, right? And it's more than that. So what Vertica can provide is that We've got a lot of data preparation functions. We do provide these algorithms, but we run them, we've rewritten them so they can take advantage of the entire cluster, right? So we have a very large customer, Cerna Corporation, where um, Cerna Lab was concerned that they weren't building their models uh, based on the full corpus of the data. So now they don't, no longer need to downsample. They can do the data preparation. They can do the development of the models right within database and in database scoring, because it is a database uh, uh, vertica. Here's some very common algorithms. Everyone's probably seen them over the course of the years. If you're EE majors or uh, you work with statisticians, these are the ones that we've rewritten, right? So they're all very, very common, common to data scientists, and um, we've rewritten them so that they can run and take advantage of the entire cluster. So how do we simplify the process to speed up the value? It's all based on SQL, that's the other approach. So uh, we understand there are millions of Python and R developers out in the world, and we work very well with them. We have user-defined extensions, we can feed their models, um, and we're also looking into, in the not too distant future, being able to take models that were developed in something, say, like Python, and when they want to import the models into Vertica for in database scoring, they can do that as well. Um, as I mentioned, we cover every part of it, end-to-end -end management, 
and there's less data movement. We, I talk to a lot of customers, a lot of prospects, especially in banking, where there's big investments in Hadoop, right? And they say, I don't want multiple copies of the data. I don't want to move the data. We also have alternatives for that where we can use external tables to analyze the data in HDFS or S3 lake, data lake, or you can take Vertica as a robust query engine and put it directly on the nodes like on the map bar. So let's dive into the use cases. That's hopefully not too much of a pitch, but please do join us in the we're, uh, exhibitor right over here. Uh, let's dive into the, the five that I see. Um, so when I was at Exceda before I came to Vertica, uh, predictive maintenance was what every original equipment manufacturer was talking about. But out of our 200 customers, and we had millions of assets under management, only one was actually doing it. And that was GE, no surprise, right? Uh, half of those organizations were medical device manufacturers, and they were doing just basically remote service, right? Uh, there was a lot of data coming. Us, as a company, we were like, man, we don't want to handle all of that data. Um, there were some PII issues, but it was mostly sensor data. But being able to provide an actually predictive maintenance solution for these customers, um, everyone's trying to do it right now. Um, and you really do need an analytical database to be able to handle that scale, have the analytical functions. And I've got some great uh, use cases that I'm going to cover now, actual customer examples. Um, one is uh, Auckland uh, Transport in Auckland, New Zealand. So I was in California last week and I mentioned the BART. Here we know about the T, right? So very, very progressive, advanced uh, city of Auckland. They have video cameras everywhere within the city, right? And they're capturing all kinds of data including weather data and what have you. Why? One, they want to make it a safer city. They want to be able to understand in certain regions of the city, is there higher crime? Where do we put the police uh, officers? And you know, knowing that you can't hire hundreds and hundreds of them and t for terrorism and things like that. But it's really about making sure that you've got, um, you've got enough people that are working, bus drivers and uh, people that help with the, with the trains and what have you, keep them all running on time. So they're doing all types of predictive analytics and they're doing it with Verica. Second one is a little company called Nimble Storage. So Nimble Storage, um, in my opinion, has the best predictive maintenance uh, analytics use case out there. Um, and the reason they do is because the CEO took a top-down approach and said, we're competing with EMC, we're competing with these mammoth companies uh, in the storage array business. Everyone knows hardware is becoming largely commoditized, right? And what they want to differentiate was on customer experience. So what they did was they put sensors in all the storage arrays, again, Big deal. Lots of original equipment manufacturers do that. In fact, Philips, everything that's manufactured has sensors in it, toothbrushes and you name it. It's another customer of ours. So um, they, they got the end user adoption, which has become a lot easier, even within banks and things like that, uh, to be able to capture that data and send it back to um, their data center. This one happens to be on premise. And to be able to run analytics. So Vertica is behind it. They don't have a data lake. Vertica is the data lake for nimble storage. What's cool about this use case is that everyone within the organization benefits. So even marketing. Marketing has Tableau dashboards and they're able to understand how successful their customers are. So they can go about and saying, what type of joint customer marketing campaigns can we do with our customers that are highly successful? Um, and th they actually do that with Vertica. Um, and of course, there's the ROI benefits. I won't get into a lot of the figures here, but uh, we've done at least five, six, seven nucleus um, research ROI case studies um, to show you get a a faster return on investment, a lower total cost of ownership. So what happened to Nimble? Well, HP spent about $600, $700 million to buy them, which is kind of funny because they used to own Vertica, and that's really the reason why they bought them. So they wanted that analytical capability in, again, a largely commoditized space, a hardware space, to differentiate with the analytics. So we actually, when we were, we were spun off as part of MicroFocus, although we keep our own identity and we're our own organization, uh, we now sell an HPE, so now SimpliVity and the edge line servers and all of them, the OEM Vertica. So it's the key differentiator, for, particularly within hardware. Optimal Plus, so we'll mention 30% yield. That is unbelievable if anyone's here in manufacturing. This is one of our top customers, Optimal Plus. They were there at IoT World last week with us. Um, so if you go to the website, you think, okay, this is a, they're in electronics and semiconductor and they help with the manufacturing process to do testing. Yeah, they do that, um, but they offer a solution for IoT analytics. In fact, Gartner 2017 Cool Vendors in IoT Analytics, they're one of five. I and mean, this is a company that's completely transformed themselves based on that power of analytics. And Vertica is the underlying analytical database to their solution. This is the kind of stuff that actually gets me uh, very excited rather than just talking about um, 
you know, what they do as a core business, they're actually differentiating with themselves with, through analytics. Sundo is another uh, customer. So this is the consumer one that I had mentioned, right? So Apple makes smart watches. Lots of people make smart watch watches. Sunto is a 100-year-old compass manufacturer. They got into smart watches. They thought, that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Well, what they did was all of their wearables, um, and specifically their watches, they collect all the data, right? They collect all the data, and they, and they create and foster a community of enthusiasts. So that, that if you're 30 years old and you like to hike, and you want to know what a regimen is for a 30-year-old in this part of the world, maybe by gender or you know, past injuries and things like that, you can get a really great workout. So it's not just, again, the hardware. The smart watch, is it better than an Apple Watch? Maybe not, maybe it doesn't have as many bells as whistles, but they're able to differentiate through analytics, right? And they're doing that all with Verica as well. Okay, so um, I'd encourage everyone to join us at the booth. Uh, it's just right across the way, Vertica. Uh, Vertica.com slash IoT, we've got a big library of IoT uh, content and specifically around IoT analytics. You can try Vertica right now, vertica.com slash try. Community Edition's a freemium edition, up to a terabyte across three nodes. You can run it on any cloud. And uh, here's my contact information, but I want to thank you for your time.